Hello, I'm Frank Jackson. I'm a gastroenterologist. Osteoporosis, calcium, and prebiotics. This is an amazing story. It is even a more remarkable tale of very recent medical research. Listen, the huge and beneficial bacteria factory within our lower gut is at the heart of the story. The prebiotic food fiber is the other star, not probiotics, which are live bacteria in yogurt or pills, I'm talking about prebiotic plant fibers. Go to my home website, jacksongi.com, to learn more about the difference between prebiotics and probiotics. In a nutshell, prebiotics are fibers found in plant foods, mostly vegetables such as yams, asparagus, onions, garlic, leeks, and others. These food fibers arrive in the colon and it is here that they exert their calcium magic. Remember the bacteria you have in the colon? Many of them are of the good types, but often only in small amounts. When they are nourished with prebiotic plant fibers, the good ones magically grow like fury, doubling in numbers every 20 minutes. You heard me right. 20 minutes, it is like taking 50 capsules of a probiotic only with prebiotics, you grow your own good bacteria. You don't need to buy them. So what happens in the colon to increase calcium absorption? First, there is a dramatic production of substances called short-chain fatty acids. These energy packets are the nourishment for the cells that line the colon. When this happens, there is a rapid transfer of calcium and magnesium across the colon lining and into the blood. There's no question about it. This is confirmed research fact. Let me tell you of two research studies on humans. The first was in young 13 and 14 year old kids. This is the age when bones are growing and when bones can become the strongest. When these kids finish growing, their bones likely will never be stronger. So now is the time. Taking a daily dose of a prebiotic supplement resulted in a 20% increase in bone density after one year. Listen to that again. 20% increase in bone strength as measured by bone densitometry. Now the second piece of research focused on females at least five years into the menopause. Here too we find that prebiotics increases calcium absorption, even in those elderly females living in nursing homes. So what about osteopenia, or weak bones, and early osteoporosis? The old rules remain the same. Walking and exercise to keep bones strong, adequate vitamin D, no smoking, maintain a good calcium intake, good medical follow-up. But the new kids on the block are prebiotics. They increase calcium absorption, pure and simple. They are naturally available in vegetables and some fruits. Again, check them out at jacksongi.com. Our proprietary formula is available in our prebiotic supplements, prebiotin, prebiotic fiber, and prebiotin bone health with added calcium and vitamin D. I wish you a healthy digestive system from your good gut friend, Frank Jackson.